heading south by southwest. Calculating size estimates now. Meteoroid class maintaining mass through descent. Hmm. They're coming right at us. Trajectory estimates on our bogies. Holding steady through thermosphere entry. Monitoring flux reduction rates now. Hmm. They're losing mass. Current trajectory predictions adjusting. Something's not right here. They appear to be accelerating. What do you think? We have stratosphere entry. Yeah, but they're moving at such an exponentially high rate of speed for their size and velocity. It doesn't make sense. Maybe a wild current caught them upon entry. Yeah, maybe. But at their present mass, they just shouldn't be moving this quickly. Nail this thing and give the gig back home something to smile about. On my mark. Three. Two. One. Mark. That man ain't taking it easy on him today. I'm losing neuro engagement. the commands, not pantomiming them. Oh. Shira's down and out. They're my last two. Mm, bet on the wrong horse again. He's not getting better. He's getting worse. Can I have the other one? No. Shake him so she let the cobra loose. Woo! Bruce is getting the hang of it. He's been keeping up with her for a while now. What's getting to you up there? You're not committing because you're not concentrating. How many times do I have to say it? Let the plane do the work. I am concentrating. I'm focusing on the plane. Just stop thinking about the plane. Think about the commands. 
Okay, the plane will respond and react accordingly. I can't stress this enough, mainly when we're gonna have the gear inside an actual aircraft. Ready? One, two, three. His legs are three. in. Okay, thanks, guys. <clears throat> One of these days, I'm gonna learn that Super Cobra twist and you are never gonna lose me again. It still gets to you, huh? One day it won't. Yeah. One day it won't. Okay, let's hear the scores. Accuracy point ratios have increased for Bruce. Shiro, on the other yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, got it. Bruce hit the most target headings with a deviation of eight degrees. It's a major improvement. I'm taking it too easy on the leads. Sandy, Freddy, get back in the booths. We need to take one more run in before we call HQ. Let's go. She ain't gonna quit. Better hit your mark, Sandy. We'll be here all day. Don't worry about me. You grabbed the stick, huh? I thought you took the handoff. Well, the other one still works, so... Look, man, it's just a machine. Okay, it's like this wheelchair, this monstrosity that won't let me climb a flight of stairs or mow my lawn or get on an airplane. But when I put the helmet on, that all fades. It frees up my mind. I forget all about it. So it's mind over matter? I'm saying you're in a box flying a child's toy with your mind. So if that's not supposed to be fun, I don't know what is. Have fun. All right. Have fun. Have fun, man. down the IPO4. I need to call Arlington for the morning status report. You got reception? One bar. Your call could not be completed at Call can be completed at this time. It doesn't sound like a reception issue. All right, cell phone's messed up. Check the IPO4. Asterisk is configured properly. So why would it work? I honestly don't know yet. Freddy, look. Where's it coming from? I don't know, but that might explain why the phones aren't working. To work. I still don't know what the problem is. Okay, cell phones aren't working, okay? Are you sure he said major disaster? Yeah, sure as hell sounded like it. Look, he's just 40 miles up the road. I gotta go check in on him. Where is she going? There might be a problem that Gyra and the phones are down. What do you mean they're down? Cell phone signals are jammed, and I can't get a line out of the IPO4. Wait, so we have no communications right now? Look, Emma, whatever it is, I'm sure he's got it under control. You can't leave. We need you here. If it's nothing, it's nothing. Yeah, but it's never nothing between you he's two. He's still my dad, Bruce. I'll be right back.
fucking kidding me? Truck just seized up for no reason. Love to help. Been without any power since last night. Okay, well, do you know where the next gas station is? I really just need to get back to. What's happening? What is happening? No, 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 no! Don't touch me. for the past 96 hours and sending them all in. We want every agency to be on the same page as we are. Emma. What are you doing here? Dad, I came to check on you. I got your call. Something about a, a major disaster and then the sky was filled with smoke? It's coming from Palmdale. 62% of the entire country is in a total blackout, with power outages lasting now up over 10 hours. I know, I tried to call you back, but phones are down, cell service is out, freeway's already jammed, it took me forever to get here. What's happening? Three near-Earth objects made impact last night. We were tracking them before they landed. Wait, hold on, so three asteroids came- Meteorites. Meteorites came down and made impact with electrical power grids at the same time? Well, one after another. So we're in the dark no matter how you look at it. Ben, the FAA has grounded all flights. Air traffic is completely restricted. She's here to help us. You heard about the Neo strike? So that's all it takes to black out over half the country. But when you put that much electricity and you put that all on the transformers, poof, domino effect begins. It could be weeks before they fix the problem. It could take months before we even find it at all. Never mind, fix it. Okay, please tell me there's an explanation why your rocks hit those stations. There's always an explanation. I'm just gonna have to go down and find out exactly what that is. All the agencies are mobilizing now on the impact site. It's my turn to go down there and take a look. Okay, uh, can I borrow your phone? I need to call Arlington, I haven't checked in today. Maybe they could shed some light on what's happening. Sure. Landlines are still working, right? Yeah, it's in my office. We can use my phone there. Ah. Electricity was just shooting from the ground. You know, it was coming from everywhere. And then the truck just, it just started up again. Then I came straight here. Why did you get back in? It's a metal box. There could have been more of them. Why were you in Victorville anyway? We're in the next phase. Hmm. So that brain plane actually works? Yeah, Dad. My program actually works. It's DARPA's program. They're the ones funding it. For what reasons? Still unclear to me. Really? Three meteors have hit the Earth, and you want to do this now? This is why we don't talk. It never changes with you. Oh. So this is why we don't talk. But all this time, I thought it was just because I was a bitter old man. How long are you going to throw that in my face? Hey, 
They're your words, not mine. Yeah, and I believe I also said that I wanted you to be a part of it. I don't know, I guess I keep thinking that you might at least be a little bit proud of what I'm trying to do. Emma, what you're trying to do isn't what DARPA really wants. They have no intentions on using that technology the way you intend it. Look, Dad. What you're doing is great work, but there will never be a plane you know with what? that technology inside You know what, you know what? it's obvious it. that you and I still can't be in the same room without fighting. Look, I, I just want to help. We can work together to get you through with what happened. I'm not talking about the crash with you again. Stop! I have tried to help you time and time again. And yet you have not once offered to come see what I've been developing. Not even shown an interest in testing out the prototype just to see what it can do for Emma, a person. Emma, please, you were a much better pilot than I ever was. That is the closest I ever want to come to death. I'm not getting into a cockpit again. Listen, you think I quit driving because I ran off a freeway off ramp? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, it was, it was a bad example. Okay. Emma, please. Don't you ever think just once about going back? No. I'm in phase two of the Neurojet program. That's what I'm thinking about right now. DARPA has plenty of eggheads to build the government their toys. How many women do you know flew with the Blue Angels? Huh? You were the first to fly a Hornet. Well, I'm sorry you can't live vicariously through me anymore. Phone's in there. I'm gonna be in the equatorial boardroom when you need me. You get through all right? Yeah. DARPA is extracting us first thing tomorrow morning in case it's something big. I have to get back to my team. Good. Well, thanks for checking in on me. I, uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. I'm glad you're okay. Dad? Yes, yeah, sweetheart? Be careful out there. I assure you, there's no little green men coming from Planet X to come down here and attack us. I'll exercise caution, okay? I'll call you when I get home if the phones are back up by then. Okay. Okay? Comms have been going in and out all day. But we've been hearing about some crazy stuff going down. That smoke? Start packing. I reach HQ, we're going home. We are? This area's off limits. Good. That's what I want to hear. I'm Ben from the observatory. I need to get samples from that rock. First one here. Oh. It'll be busy soon enough.
they're chasing up there. Can can anyone tell what it is? I can't. Oh. Just got a major head rush all of a sudden. I think I need to have a seat. felt it, right? Emma, what did I just see? Why did it slow down like that? Slow down? What are you talking about? When I looked at it, I got dizzy, then nauseous. But when I looked away... The sick feeling subsided. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And the longer I looked at it, the harder it was to see whatever it was that was flying over us. I had a sudden urge to puke. I felt the exact same sensation, the wooziness, the intense headache, but not when I had the helmet on. All of it only after I took it off. I have seen fighters maneuver in the air like that before. They were wildly overcorrecting because they couldn't see clearly. So they had the same symptoms we had? What the hell is that? Some kind of defense mechanism? How are we ever going to hit it with a weapon if we can't see it? Whatever it is, I think that the helmet renders it obsolete. Maybe it prevents the receptors in the brain from flaring up when it's engaged with the neuro software. I'm gonna pack up the helmet, we need this gear intact. I'm telling you, this is a coordinated attack. We have to go. Leave anything behind we don't need. The electronics are stored, we just need to pack up the rest and load them up. And then where are we headed? Guys, and then where are we headed? <laughs> I came running the minute I heard the commotion. You okay? Jesus Christ, what was that? I need samples of that meteorite to take back to my observatory immediately. Nobody gave me a heads up on this, all right? I'm gonna need to call it in. Wait a minute. Did you see what crawled out of that goddamn ground? And you think the meteorite has something to do with it? Well, what do you say we go find out? Well, could it be from the underground reservoir? What underground reservoir? The, it, it's underneath. The, the researchers found it from Antelope Valley College. They found it back in 2015. Well, how far down does it go? I don't know, a few, a few thousand feet. They haven't touched it. They left it alone. They think the water's contaminated by the gas and oil from drilling. Huh. Well, hell. You might be onto something. Thanks for your help. I gotta go. God loves the Marines. As you guessed it, GPS is useless. So look what I found. Your dad's in LA. We're only about an hour and a half out from there. No, National Guard probably already has the city shut down. No one's going in. Besides, we need to go somewhere where we can do some real damage. And what did you have in mind? Davis Montaigne Air Force Base. 
Tucson, as in Arizona? SoCal Logistics Airport is right here in Victorville. It's like 10 miles out. Yeah, why don't we go there first and let somebody know what's happening? We could fly out from there to Tucson. That would be faster. And end up like the Hilo? No, we stay on the roads, okay? That's the best shot we have at staying in one piece. Emma, why are we going to DMA? Because we may just have found the only way to kill this thing and we're gonna put it to use. Are you serious? For real? We're actually gonna put the tech in a real plane? Yeah. Emma, I don't know if that's possible and neither do you. We might actually have a shot at this, Bruce. We're moving into phase two now, okay? Before everything around us burns to the ground. Let's get the show on the road and head out. Emma, wait. Hey, wait. Look, driving there is gonna take much longer. Look, you gotta get that crash out of your head now. You're letting it affect our whole fate just because you're still afraid to get into another airplane. You saw what happened to our airlift, right? We get in the air, we put our lives and the neurotech in jeopardy. That is not a risk I'm willing to take. No, that's not why. But you keep telling yourself that while we waste valuable time. Is that it? You got it? Yeah, yeah. Prep some slides. Uh, are you okay? I'll be fine, I just, I'll get a little cleaned up. Just prep some slides and bring it into my office. And listen, if you know someone, if you need to go someplace, go. Get out of here. How bad is it? It's bad. It's a complete nightmare out there. There's roadblocks everywhere, but you should be able to get through with those credentials. Everything I've been hearing sounds like it's safer to stay. I guess. I, uh... There's no one waiting at home. I'll stay. Thanks. Joshua Tree, right? Then we just hop on the 62 East and we're on our way. Yeah, it looks like we're about six hours out of Tucson. So why don't you ever want to talk about it? About what? About the crash. Why are you bringing that up now? Because of where we're going. Look, you can lose your patience with me all you want, but as long as we've been working together, it's a topic you never want to discuss. Why can't you respect that? Why can't you just let it go? Do I ask you all the time what it feels like to be paralyzed over and over and over again? Well, it really only happened the one time. Anything after that's just overkill, and I wouldn't really feel it anyway. That's kind of how paralysis works, you know what I mean? You're an idiot, you know that? To tell you the truth, I think I'm doing more good outside of a plane than I was in one. Okay, but I guess I'm just trying to say that if you ever want to get something off your chest, I'm here for you. Anytime. something. I don't need both hands to hold it. That's small, huh?
party, we ready? Tank's full, just waiting on Ishii to finish emptying his. So where does something that big go to hide? I mean, he's gotta sleep, right? Thing just landed back there. We know next to nothing about that organism, and we were finding ourselves in a place to gain some high-valued information. Are you nuts? You have to stay here and watch the gear. Are you kidding me, Emma? I, I can't. All right, all of you, listen to me. If the helmet is really the only way we can see this thing in real time, and if there's any hope of us building out this tech outside a real fighter jet, we're gonna need all the intel we can get to convince them to give us even one plane to fight that thing. Now I'm gonna go get it. Whoever wants to stay behind, fine. Any problems, you call me. Em, wait up. I'm coming with you. You're not. Come on, man. samples from the fusion crust, the mantle, and inside near the core areas. Hmm. Which sample is this one? Oh, that's from the mantle? Let's check it out and take a look. Hmm. Hmm. I'm getting elemental and isotopic compositions here consistent with Martian origin. We got an SNC here? I think. I mean, these are some of the most complex organisms I've ever seen. Or never seen to be honest with you. I... What? Jesus. Jesus Christ, what the hell has landed here? Sounds like it came from over there. Okay, am I the only one who's thinking maybe this is not such a great idea? We have to stick together now. Should have said something at the truck. Okay, and why can't I turn around and go? Because if it sees you, it could put the rest of us in danger. How the hell do you know that? Do you see anything coming after us yet? Yeah. It's okay. I only need to be faster than a couple of you. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Three legs are faster than two, and I know how to work these things, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah we just go out to the desert and leave him in the truck. <laughs> Sit on his ass. Oh, but she left me the keys. You know, in case that thing attacks, I'll just jump behind the wheel and save the day. I'm talking to myself. Looks like this is where the trail leads. Specimens have been retrieved from their impact sites and are already en route to Johnson and Langley. 17 years in the field, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. It wasn't a rock, it was a life form. 
That's consistent with the reports we've been getting from the other crash sites. What happened? Uh, news travels here real slow since the grid failed. The stories from witnesses were unbelievable. A monster shooting something from its mouth. in a cave here. Uh, this looks like blood. I don't know what else that could be. Well, this definitely leads underground, all right. But if it's bleeding nearby, then where is it? Well, we've come this far. Water? In the desert? We're walking over hundreds of fault zones out here in years of broken rock fragments. Every time they shift, they force the groundwater to rise up. There's more blood.
Don't come this way. It off, sent it coming my way. You okay? I don't think I've ever been that scared before in my life. Give me your shoe. Huh? Your shoe. Take it off. Give it to me. No, no, the left one. Get in. Okay, let's roll out before we run into that thing a second time. Oh, now she cares. Uh, uh, What's with the shoe? He stepped into something. My name is Emma Harper. I'm with the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, and I need to speak to your base commander now. Regarding? We have the technology to fight these monsters and save the future of civilization. Our forces have been largely ineffective to slow, much less eradicate this threat up to now. These monsters are causing untold levels of destruction. Now, if what you're saying is true, we may need to consider unprecedented options never used before on American soil. We have a solution to that problem. What is that? It's a neurohelmet. The reason your pilots can't hit this thing is because this creature emits a frequency that makes the brain think it's moving much faster than it is. So it's messing with their heads? But our helmets mute it. Who are you people again? We're from DARPA. And who sent you here? No one sent us here. We've seen this thing up close. It's large, powerful, and extremely pissed off. Com squadrons have been working overtime, trying to maintain an open line with the outside world. Problem is, the outside world keeps losing more power. Damn near close to relying on ham radios around here. That may be their intention, sir. And who are they, exactly? Our computer and phone networks may be crapping out, but what I'm hearing, everyone's spooked over some Hulgasar rampaging through Los Angeles. There's been a sighting north of here and in Texas. So that's three confirmed in the United States already. And what about the rest of the world? As of now, no other confirmed sightings anywhere but the United States. There are more coming. A lot more. And why is that? I think we've located one of their nests in Joshua Tree. It had been bleeding from when it rammed into our helo. But what we found in the blood, clusters of spores, 
egg sacs, they opened up. Things crawled out. Things? Like a black slime and an ooze. Formed into a solid organism shortly after being birthed. Ishiro stepped on one of them. It starts out like a jelly, and then it forms into a worm of some kind. I don't know how you got onto my base, but get this shoe off. Damn it! If I'm right, this problem is about to get exponentially worse. So how do you propose we stop that from happening? Incendiary tip payloads. High explosive incendiaries should kill those things and destroy the spores with extreme temperatures. I'll take that under advisement. We need a plane. You need a plane? The helmet doesn't just dampen the flaring. It was designed to fly an airplane with the power of thought. Lady, I don't have time for this. It will work. We've been developing it at DARPA for the past three years. All we need is to put it inside an operational aircraft. Please, you need to believe me. This narrow program of yours, you really think it'll fly one of these planes? We just need to find one that's going to accommodate the hardware. This is AMARG, the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group, the largest military aircraft boneyard in the world. Everything's laid out by type. Over there are the 1000s. Those are deemed inviolate. No parts have been removed. They're your best bet for getting up in the air quickest. Those are the 3000s. Maintained in flyable condition for temporary storage. Also a good place to look. And then you have the 2000s. That's all the aircraft we keep around for parts for other working aircraft. You're welcome to whatever you need in there. What about those? Just take your pick. My team will lead the first attack as the first wave of fighters. Hit it with enough firepower to wound it, even out the playing field for your pilots to come in and clean up. These are seasoned veterans with thousands of hours of experience. Ishii over here flew F-16s with the DC Air National Guard. And Sandy trained with the Naval Air Station where she flew Skyhawks. Bruce? Ended up in this chair after a close flyover northwest of Baghdad in 2006. My apologies. With all due respect, sir, I don't need your apology. What we need now is a vote of confidence. Sir, the last three pilots of the Eastern Quadrant, ground forces are depleted, waiting on a sit rep. What is it? What's happening? Here we go. When can you have these fighters in the sky? We have all the space we'll need to accommodate all the neurotech gear we'll need to fit inside. Bastards won't know what hit them. All right, well, guys, don't start high-fiving each other just yet. The entire interior has over 30,000 electrical parts and 14 miles of wiring. And now we need to compress all of that data management and operation into one pilot who's not going to flip one switch with anything more than the power of thought. We got a lot of work ahead of us. So let's get to work. What about you, Miss Harper? What are your credentials? 1,700 flight hours and 208 carrier arrested landings. Deployed at the USS Harry Truman with Strike Fighters Quadrant 37. Raging Bulls. My oldest is stationed at NAS Oceana. Harper, Emma. First woman at the stick of a hornet for the Blue Angels. That's what they keep telling me, sir. Impressive. Now you're innovating our fleet for the modern age. A lot of men and women want to fight for their countries, but are unable to do so because they lack the use of their limbs. I think that's a little bit short-sighted. Well, we're privileged to have you. Thanks. Now, if we may, we've got a nest filled with spores and Joshua Tree that need to be wiped out. After 
After picking up samples, NASA HQ issued an alert. Apparently, one of these things had babies of some kind. Babies? It gave birth? That's what they're saying. And apparently it starts as some black ooze and evolves into a living, reacting organism. And another thing. The military has a new plan for trying to beat these things. They're teaming up with DARPA. They're working on a new plane. What? Where? Tucson, Arizona. Emma's finally getting her chance. Maybe they could use a guy like you. Maybe you've forgotten how long it's been since I've flown. So it's the kind of thing someone forgets how to do. I figure someone with so many awards and medals, it's like riding a bike. You've never been inside the cockpit of a plane. And besides, the technology's changed considerably since I've flown. It's... That's true, but Emma designed it. I'm sure she'd be willing to teach you how to use it. You don't need to think. You just have to go. Competition. Although whoever shows me the best score takes the first plane up. I'll show you competition. Mm -mm. Bring it on, Sandy. Ishii, I need you to clear your head right now. Show me you can think only about the plane. Concentrate only on your command. needed to do was piss him off. All right, team, let's reset back to one. So you're still making friends, huh? Dad! What are we doing here? I came to see you. Now, how are you gonna fight those things with that, huh? You said you're making a brain plane. I imagine something a little bigger. Ha, huh. cute. Seriously, what are you doing here? You drove all the way out here from Crestline? I came out here to see you. Well, welcome to Project Neuro. This is what I've been working on. <laughs> this is Freddy. He's one of my engineers and a pilot. Freddy Young, Marine Corps, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing. Ben Robbins. Call me Ben. Emma here tells us you were a pilot with the Air Force. Oh, yeah. 95th Fighter Squad, based out of Tyndall. That ass. Well, we like to think so. Don't get him started. You're gonna hear war stories all night. Yeah. So, those little boxes look tight. I mean, they were a little snug, huh? They were developed based upon the cockpit dimensions of every Century Series aircraft. Come on, let me show you around. All right. All that stuff out there, is going in there. We're working around the clock to retrofit all of them, but this one in front of you will be the first. We need to get one up in the air as fast as possible. This is amazing. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. I, I word have gotten around that you were building a plane. <laughs> the brain plane. Well, I couldn't stand by while the world was burning and you were conquering it all on your own. I'm sorry. I should have been more supportive. Dad, been... look, it's... No, please. Just... I've been in denial. I know why you did this. I understand. After your crash, you actually had a chance to come back and pursue this. 
but I wanted you to join the stunt team for a couple of reasons. And those were? Well, I wanted to see you back in a plane. I was too scared to ever get back in one myself. After my car accident and your mother died, I started feeling bouts of depression, paranoia, claustrophobia. I couldn't even get into an elevator. I've been seeing a therapist for years. Years? Dad, you could have told me something. But while I couldn't even imagine flying again, I, I missed it. Emma, I, I really missed it. And after seeing you up there, you're right. I was reliving it, all through you, again. <sighs> when you walked away and devoted your time to this, I wanted to discourage you. Because, well, I just couldn't imagine seeing you not fly again. Me not flying again. But I think I'm ready now. Thank you. Oh, baby. Thank you, Dad. And I'm going to help you every step of the way, I promise. Just relax, Dad. Focus all your thoughts on doing simple maneuvers. Dad. The drone is hooked in. It's all up to you now. Just relax. Clear your head. Sit perfectly still. And when you're ready, I want you to say out loud, forward throttle. Forward throttle. That's okay, Dad. Just focus on what you want the plane to do. Then say it out loud. Forward throttle. Accuracy is important, and efficiency of control. This isn't working. He's having a really hard time. I can't control the stick. This, this isn't doing what I want it to do. Because you're not concentrating hard enough. for this. I don't want to rush you. We don't have a choice. Uh, I'll tighten up. I, Can I, just I make a to... suggestion? Please. Forget about trying to keep up. Okay, forget about the scores. Forget about all that. Just do what comes to you naturally. Okay, you're a pilot. I know you haven't flown a plane in years, but none of that matters. You'll always be a pilot. Just pretend like you're back in that F-22 Raptor in Tyndale, and you're taking her out for a ride. Forward throw. Bank left, 20 degrees. some precision exercises. Go for it. Now go to 800 feet and give me a roll. Okay, now I want you to go to 1100 feet AGL. Hold it for a count of five. 
then dive down to 900 and give me a figure eight. Congratulations, sir. You did great. Thank you, sir. Well, you scored higher than anyone on this team for their first flight. <laughs> wow. Frankly, they're unprecedented, sir. I mean, your scores are better than ours on many advanced exercises. It was my first time. I, I guess you could just call it beginner's luck. Your numbers are now the team record. Congratulations. Wow, really? It's like being back up there again. The situation has grown more dire. We have reports of mass casualties out of Texas from some kind of poison. The only explanation we have from anyone down there is that it's coming from the creature. You mean it's emanating some kind of toxin? This thing is leaving a trail of pollution in its wake. The CDC has detected highly toxic levels of, this is a quote, uh, a lethal mix of benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, and xylene, hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide radiating from the body. Heading. Fair sightings due south. Our estimates have not moving towards Dallas. Harper, this crisis is continuing to escalate. I hope your team's ready. All available manpower is being dedicated in getting that first plane up. We're running out of time. We need to make a decision. I think we'd all like to volunteer, but we've never seen scores like your dad's before. He's only been in the booth once. He's not ready. I completely disagree. I mean, I think he's going to continue to surprise us with his capabilities. We don't have the time to train him. OK, then we start now, today. We don't have the luxury to argue over this, Emma. Every day that we wait is a day we lose. You gotta make a decision. Think about it. You've made yourself at home. Oh. The medical squad was kind enough to lend me some gear. The hatchlings share chemical and biological traits with the meteorites, strange and specific elements. Now that brought me to the NASA archives. Evidently, the Russians had sent a probe to Mars back in the 70s. One of them landed successfully. And? The report claims that Mars identified nearly three identical examples. They called it the Larga. Now, the Russians weren't about to share this intelligence with us, but eventually one of our agencies got a hold of it. And when they did, they put it in a file and they sealed it away. God, nothing would end space race faster than the public finding out that there are monsters waiting out there. That would be my guess. The specimens have hatched at different locations. I'd say population seems to be their intent. I guess my only question is, why did they leave Mars? Uh, Dad, the situation has intensified. We've been ordered to put all our efforts into getting that first plane into the battlefield. And the team feels that you should be the one to take her out. I don't understand. They think that you're our best chance at winning this fight. Wait, I... I said I wanted a fight, but I didn't think I'd be the first to go. I mean, well, frankly, I'm... I'm honored. We're not gonna have any time to prepare you for this, Dad. I'm gonna have to devise a, a crash course regimen that's woefully underprepared and... I have flown planes half of my life. I've been sitting in this chair for too long. Now you're giving me a chance to go back up and do something right? Yeah, you can count on me. Major? 
Lieutenant. It's like you never left. It feels that way as well. The President has authorized Operation Monster Zero. Air support ready to mobilize. Godspeed. Good luck. Godspeed. Forces are now at DEFCON 2. Ready to go. Neuro 1, you are ready to engage. I repeat, ready to engage. Target in flight. I need support. This thing is ginormous! Neuro 1, air support is on its way. Maintain visual contact until it arrives. Be ready to engage. Right behind you, Neuro 1. Locked and loaded. Focus on the blur and fire when ready. Mill aim for your target.
Dad! Emma, are you okay? I'll be right back. I can't look at this right now. I hope these monsters bleed to death. Did he call? Did he call in yet? We need to debrief the president. And tell him what? That our first plane is already missing? You can start with an ETA on getting your other two planes up. Sir, I'm getting a signal. Incoming aircraft entering Bravo airspace. You sure it's an aircraft and not one of those things? It's me, Dan, I'm coming in! second transmission went out. Oh, it went down all right, and then it got right back up. Wiped out all the F-18s, and I took shrapnel. Well, that explains it. It must have wiped out the antenna. We're severely outmatched. I mean, we could send up 10 of those planes, and it's not going to do a thing. I, we pumped high incendiary explosives and hydro rockets into that son of a bitch, and all it did was piss it off. The second Largo was spewing out some kind of radioactive pulse. What about the one you saw first? It was a uh, energy beam. The first Larger came out of the ground at an electricity plant in Palmdale. And the one you saw was in Texas? Yeah. The second crash site was at a nuclear facility. And the third crash at a highly combustible refinery near Los Angeles. But that, that could explain the, the, the toxic vapor it was emanating, right? Yes. Uh, fetch my glasses and follow me. The Palmdale Largo was birthed from one of the largest electronic waste recycling centers in the state. Huh. The Largo must be a product of the environment in which it's incubated. I need a drink. What the hell's this? Who put this in here? How long's this thing been in here? About five, ten minutes. Huh. We're in a jet plane hangar. Give me some liquid nitrogen, fast. The fridge is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now anything is going to get sluggish when it's cold. But look how it deteriorated in such a short period of time. Cold is not this creature's friend. That's why they had to leave Mars. Because they couldn't inhabit the cold. That's right.
Our somewhat limited intel has the most recent sighting of the... First Larga heading west over Los Angeles. The second is moving south. Near the border of Arizona and Nevada, and the third one Ben just fought off was last seen flying over the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Military bases within 50 miles of each of these locations is on standby. Once our narrow jets are airborne, air support will be in these regions. Sure, was a good pilot and a damn good fighter. Only 
Listen. If that offer's still good, I'd like to take you up on it. We can always use you on the team. Get down on your